Good afternoon, folks. This is Fred Campos, owner of DFW Website Designers. It is a happy Sunday, April the 11th, 2021. It's the beginning of the week, first day of the week. Get excited. This is the last thing we're going to talk about. It. We've been talking for this past week about different things, working with clients and customers. And I want to end with this particular topic, and that is for you, business owner. How is it you are going to continue to keep the money that you're making in your small business? There are three elements we're going to talk about today in our three, three at three. And that is we're going to talk about advertising spending, payroll, and taxes and expenses. So we go into business, we quit our jobs, we become business owners, we, we grow it up and have a team, we have a storefront, we have a real life business. At the end of the day, business owners, the reason you did this, probably one of the reasons you did this was to make money. In order to make money, we have to control expenses. expenses. So what are the three areas that you need to focus on to be the most profitable? Area number one, business tip number one you have to spend a certain amount of money on advertising, whether that be in my business like Google Ads or Thumbtack, or whether that be in a other business where you have to put a storefront or signage or whatnot, you have an advertising budget. I have seen in my um, studying of small businesses in my web design company, companies go out of business for spending too much money on advertising, as well as not do well in business for not spending enough. So this first area of expenditures you have to watch is advertising. Number two, taxes and expenditures. First off, taxes are a part of life. You got to figure it out. But the way you structure your business, the way you spend money, what is deductible, you should be talking with your accountant as to how you can deduct and save as much money as you can on all of your expenditures. Of course, you're going to need office equipment. Maybe you need computers. But what? how do those relate to the deductions and how much of that should you be spending? Can you depreciate them over time, et cetera, et cetera? And then number three, and it's probably the most significant part, and that is when you get to a level of having staff, payroll becomes the, probably the biggest part of your budget. As a school board trustee, it makes up the lion's share of our budget. Okay, people are expensive, they're necessary, but you gotta figure out how to maximize their effort. Do you start out with part-timers? Do you start out with VAs? Because payroll can eat your lunch. Because as a small business owner, we tend to pay our staff before we pay ourselves. So that can eat away in our profit. I'm not necessarily advocating that this is a great idea, but I know some organizations that have routine firing once a year. Even when they hire somebody, they say, hey, we, we audit. All, everybody has to justify their existence once a year, especially when you're small. And we have a certain day of the year that we look at that, and, and, and that may be the day we, let, we lay you off. Now that's an extreme case, but what I like about that is that you are always thinking with the end in mind about how to save money. It's all about saving because what you save becomes the margin of profit that you have. And you can save money by obviously watching your advertising budgets, your taxes and expenditures, and your payroll. That is the growth factor for you to have and keep more money. As always, I'm preaching to myself. I'm learning this in my small business. And I'm sharing it with you because I want you to be awesome. Now go back to sleep.